Uh, we're going to use After Effects to mask out or mask in objects. All right. Um, and we're going to start with masking out, which is what most of us will be doing. So I'm going to grab and drag down here a piece of green screen. I want to make sure it's, oh, undo that. I'm accidentally on the pen tool. Let's go grab my pointer. I want to make sure it's as big as it needs to be. There we go. So it matches my 1080p. All right. Um, make sure I've clicked on the layer, which is this. And I'm going to grab the pen tool here. Now, let's just mask in because suppose I was going from here. So I could draw a box to eliminate this here right-hand part that I'm not going to need and this left-hand part. The green screen itself, I'm going to go over to King and use Key Light to get rid of. All right? But I'm going to mask first. So instead of masking out the left and the right, I'm just going to grab the pen tool here and just draw a mask and I'm going to keep what's inside the mask instead of deleting what's inside the mask. So got that so I kept what's inside the mask. So there we go. That's all good. Now I'm not going to be using all of this. I would be using some and then I've got to export it out which we'll look at later. Not yet. So let's get rid of the uh, green now. So if we go over here to King in your effects and it's key light is what you're looking for. Since I'm selected on that layer, I can just double click with key light. And over here on the left, we got the effect controls. So notice you got project with all your project stuff and effect controls, which would tell you what effects you got going on and whatever layer you have selected. So I just need to go to the screen color. It's a green screen, not blue. And I click on it to get rid of it. Now, if I look, I've got some issues here. You can see some white hazing around and I'm not got a really great outline of me here. So what I need to do is I need to go in the screen mat, which is in key light and I need to clip the black and clip the white. So that means get just the white I need and just the black I need. So I'm going to start with the black and notice how if I drag, I get rid of that stuff that was over here at the top clip the black, but if I go too far, I start getting rid of me because I'm blue. So I'm going to move it just around 40 at the moment. I can tweak it again later. Then I'm going to go to white. And if I go to white, you can see how I need to get rid of all that white. And white, I may go to 100%, and then I may tweak some more of that black down a bit more, less is better. So that looks pretty good then. All right, not too bad, not bad. Um, so then from here, I can export it out and I'll keep the transparency so I can use it in uh, Premiere Pro. And I'll put it as a top layer and underneath I'll put whatever it needs to look like I'm going into. All right, so and then if we want to render it, we'll go to File, and we'll go to Render, or actually Composition, Add to Render Queues. Composition, Add to Render Queue. Okay, but once we get to the Render Queue, we got a couple things to do here. Uh, we need to make sure it keeps the transparency, and if we just render it the way it is, it's not going to. So... Uh, we'll go in the render settings and the output here and output. So format is QuickTime, out Apple Red. We don't want that. So we want to go to do, 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 do and I'm going to the output module and clicking on here where it says high quality and going to custom. So custom, I am going to keep QuickTime. That's what I want. But I want RGB plus alpha. So I can't do that in QuickTime. I'm going to go to, and now I don't. Just alpha, I want RGB plus alpha. I don't want ProRes, so let's get it off ProRes. And let's see. 
let's see if we can QuickTime RGB plus alpha. There we go. So we had to get it off ProRes, okay? And that way we were able to get it to RGB. So I just on there, I was went and um, changed it under the format options. So just put it to uncompressed 8 GB, 8 bit RGB, okay? Take it off ProRes, okay? So now when we go and hit OK, and it's in the render, we're going to output it to our desktop. And remember, we should have a folder that's got everything going inside there, right? And then I'm going to save it. And I gave it a name here. It's comp1.move. And then I'm going to render it here. So now it's rendering it. OK. And I'm just going to stop that because I don't need it. Okay, I'm going back here. Now, that was if we wanted to delete stuff on the outside of a shape here. Um, I'm going to delete that, come back to project, and I'm going to drag down another little video here. Okay. So here, suppose i got a hallway, and suppose I'd like molten lava to be here, and the person can't get across unless they jump, but it's too far, or slowly get their way along the side and maybe could fall in. So to do that, I need to, whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. Undo value change. I need to cut out, so not cut out the outside, but cut out an inside shape. So again, I'm going to my pen tool and I'm just gonna draw a shape and I can just make it go all the way down here and join it up. Now, but what it's done is cut out the outside, which is not what I wanted. So. I'm going to come down here to uh, my composition number one, and here's my layer. I'm going to hit this here little arrow, and we have masks here. And this mask is set to an additive mask. So I'm just going to put it to a subtract mask. And now we have, uh, let's go back and get my pointer. And click on it, click on it. Now we've got this. So if I export this out, remember export it as RGB plus alpha. Then I can have this in Premiere and underneath it in Premiere, put some lava and this will look filled with moving lava. So if I choose a movie about lava, it'll be filled with moving lava. Okay. And actually I do have some moving lava. Let's just import it in. Just have a look at what it looked like. So you wouldn't do it in here. I got lava MP4. Let's import that in. So if I put it underneath, and there we go, I got lava. Now, here. So if I hit play, I have to work with the audio and stuff. But there we go, I got our lava in. But again, you would do that in Premiere, so we'll get rid of that. So all we need to do is export it again. So for Monitor, we go to Composition, add it to Render Queue, down in the Render Queue, and this is it down here. Remember, we're going to go to the high quality. We're going to go to custom. It's going to open this up. It's going to be QuickTime, but we want RG bus plus alpha. If we can't go that, the problem is this ProRes here, and we got to get that off. So go to format options and not be ProRes. Go to none. Hit OK, and then we can choose RGB plus alpha hit OK, and then export it and render it, and it will be good. Okay? All right.